good. Hi everyone. So I'm gonna do a little demonstration here in my kitchen. Um, my son Emmett, say hi Emmett. Hi. He's doing the project too. So we'll show his example. He's working on it now. But you guys did a little bit of research on the Amate bark painting, which is a Mexican folk art form that is actually still pretty popular today. So you did your research, you learned a little bit about it, you looked at examples. Now it's your turn. Mom. So one issue is, hold on honey, one issue is maybe what kind of paint, what supplies do I use? Honestly, if you only have paper and pencil, you could still do this assignment. Granted, if you have um, anything to color it with, that will add a little bit of life to the work, but you could still do a lot of beautiful work with just a pencil. So paper. So I have a giant food bag here. Mm -hmm. And that's a good paper to use um, because the Amati bark painting uses the tree bark and it has like a brown color to it. So I'm just gonna kind of rip this bag and the ripped edges I'm gonna like embrace and use in my artwork. So I'm not cutting, I'm just gonna rip it. So I have a nice piece. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crumple it up. Why am I crumpling it up? You're right, to get bark texture. Good. Okay, so now I'm gonna open it back up again and sort of flatten it, which gives a nice texture. Now, I decided to look up some Mexican wildlife and I found this bird to be really beautiful. Um, here's my example that I made of my bark painting. Um. You open the yellow, sure. all the colors, all the colors. All of them, sure. <laughs> okay. So I found this bird, which I printed out. You don't have to do that. You could just have it on your phone. Um, but this bird is called the turquoise browed mot mot, and I really love the colors. So I'm going to kind of go with that. And also, um, if you look up Mexican folk art patterns, or Mexican um, designs and patterns, you'll find some really beautiful designs that you can use. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just grab a pencil or a crayon, it doesn't even matter, just something. Whatever you got at your disposal. If you have a pen, use a pen. If you have a pencil, use a pencil. I'm gonna use this like, actually, copper crayon. So I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna look at my bird if you have your phone handy, you could just look at your at your phone. And actually, I'm gonna switch to a darker color just so you can see it. I'm gonna switch to a, um, I'm gonna do a black pastel. Just so yeah, you can see it. That's better. Yeah. So now I'm looking at the wings and I'm gonna do what's called stylized, which means my goal here isn't necessarily to make it look realistic but to get, add like a design to it. So I'm looking at the shape. I'm gonna add, I added my wing. I'm gonna add some more feathers. Then the long feather. A second long feather. The little belly area. Can we use some of this white paint, Mom? Okay. Because this is brown paper. I'm going to make mm -hmm. a white mm -hmm. nice paper. And now I'm going to add the long beak Mom, that this bird has. Mom, I'm making a woodpecker. A woodpecker? Yeah, that's Do you want to show everybody your woodpecker? Um, when I'm done, there's three okay. more containers. Okay, when he's done, he'll show Mom, you. Mm -hmm. There's three more containers. Can you tell everybody what you have to do when you change colors for painting? You just gotta mix the color. Do you then wash your brush first before dipping into a new color? Yeah. yeah. And then you wipe it, right? Mom, mom, just wipe. I just got the water. By the way, guys, the paints that my son is using are Crayola paints we got at the dollar store. So pretty cheap. One dollar. All right. So. I'm um, adding my little, my little tree branch here. I'm gonna add that in. 
now I can do some fun designing. You guys know how I feel about corner signs, but I'm gonna add one anyway. Do you wanna know why? Because it's decorative and stylized, not realistic. So when I looked at designs of corner signs here, I found, well, or flowers, but I found that to be really pretty. So I'm gonna kind of just get inspired by that. Add a little sun. Now you can take this to make it very easy like I'm doing, doing a simplified version, or you could take this really far and do some really intricate design work. And honestly, that's gonna be up to you and what you, you know, feel like doing what materials you have at your disposal, um, how much time you have, you know, we got to be flexible. It's a difficult situation. You guys, I understand that, but you know, the, the point is that you learn a little bit about the culture and a little bit about an art technique that's pretty popular and that you have some fun and you know, you, it gives you some, something to do. So I'm just adding some fun decorative leaves right now. And again, I'm really simplifying this design for you so you can see it's not that hard and you should ha really have fun with it. All ages could do this. So like I'm having my five-year-old do this. If you are babysitting, I know some of you indicated that on your survey that you have a lot of babysitting that you need to do. Well, that's something that you can um, think about. Well, I have this art assignment I need to do and I need to babysit. So maybe I could you know, have my little brother or sister or my nephew, my niece, whoever, do this assignment as well. Mom, I'm ready. What are you ready for? Showing them. Oh, you're ready to show them? Okay, I'm ready to show too. Why don't you go first? Okay. I'm just gonna go out. So you made a Mexican woodpecker? Yeah. Love it. It's rainbow colored. It is beautiful. Mexican woodpecker. Love it. All right. So I have a basic outline of my design done, and now I'm going to add some color. Can I borrow your paints? Sure. You can, okay. use it. You can make it rainbow colored. Okay. Oh, and you could also use white, brown, or... So I'm not going to color this whole thing as you guys watch, but I just want to let you know that um, if you have any like Crayola paints, they would work really beautiful or neon paints. If you don't have paint, you could use crayons or you could use pastels. Um, all the materials I have here are really like cheapo materials that you can get anywhere. These are, this was like maybe 20 cents on sale at the dollar store, these two pack of oil pastels. You know, you can add, um, Crayons actually work really well on the, the cardboard, but you can add whatever you have and have fun with it. I wouldn't recommend doing oil pastels to start. I would start with a pencil. I just did that so you could see it really well. And then after you're happy with your design, with the pencil, you could do whatever materials you have. Emma, what do you think of that green? Yeah, it's really nice. Mom? Yes? Can I try using my paint? Oh, sure. And then I think that maybe we'll work on this alone and say bye to the students. Sound like a good idea? Uh, mm. All right. You, you can mix media. Mom, could what? you use some of the red, all the other kind of colors? I will get there. Okay. If I want to switch to red, what should I do? Mom? Should I wash my brush? Yeah. All right. Mom, maybe. Now what should I do? Mom? What should I do now? You could like, color the sun with orange or red, cause those are lots of colors of the sun. Oh, you're right. I don't have to just use yellow, do I? Yeah. Lots of my friends think lava is just yellow and red, but no orange. <laughs> Who said that? I, I forget. Maybe one of my friends Jackson and lots of others. Well, everybody has their own ideas as to how they want to design, right? Okay, so the most important thing, Mom, you guys, is that you have fun with this. And if you have any questions, 
I will see you. Remember, Wednesdays right. is our Google Meet session at 11. Um, and Google Hangouts every day are my off office hours, 1.30 to 2.30. If you okay. have any questions, um, please send me um, a Google Hangouts message and I'll gladly answer you. You can also email me too. All right, bye guys. Ooh.